Colorado's House Democrats recently launched a high-stakes game of legislative whack-a-mole, passing a bill to ban semi-automatic firearms faster than you can say bang. In a nail-biting 35 to 27 vote, they sent the bill zooming towards the state Senate, hoping to make Colorado the next big thing in semi-auto-free zones. It's like a game of political musical chairs, but with guns. But hold on to your hats, folks, this rodeo ain't over yet. Despite Colorado's rep as a hot spot for mass shootings, this legislation is facing more twists and turns than a roller coaster ride through the Rockies. Colorado's political mood swings harder than a cowboy at a square dance. The state Senate, with its bluer-than-blue Democrats, might not be as gun-ho for the ban as their House counterparts. Even Gov, Jared Polis, a Democrat himself, is giving the side-eye to the whole semi-auto shindig. Last year, a similar bill bit the dust faster than a tumbleweed in a dust storm. Some Dems worried it was to trigger happy on gun control, fearing backlash from constituents faster than you can say yeehaw. They settled for less aggressive laws, like making gun buyers wait three days a mini-vacation. If you will, and letting victims to the firearms industry. But Colorado is no stranger to gun violence. From Columbine to Aurora to the supermarket shootout in Boulder, it's like the Wild West meets Groundhog Day. Democratic Representative Javier Mabry pleaded with his fellow lawmakers, saying, let's join the cool kids club and ban semi-automatics. Republicans, however, ain't buying it. They're waving the Second Amendment like a cowboy brandishing a six-shooter, arguing that guns aren't the problem, it's people with a screw loose. Plus, they reckon you can do a lot of damage with a knife too, you know? But Dems ain't backing down. They argue that semi-autos are like the Swiss Army knives of destruction, causing chaos faster than a stampede at a rodeo. Mabry painted a vivid picture. Imagine the Aurora theater shooter with a knife. You can't, right? That's the point. So, saddle up, folks. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Will Colorado become the next no semi-auto zone? Only time and a few more rounds of legislative showdowns will tell.